You're here, and thank the Blue Lady for that. Now, you must have an Imperial ton of questions. I know, I'm sorry. I wish we had found you sooner, but... For right now, what you need to know is that Princep Savolto is encroaching into our territory. He's already taken over several city-states, and the devil is trying to claim our ferrous magnet mines, which are vital for my Titan project. So let's get started. In front of you is my responsibility and my joy. Our war table, where all the action takes place. You can raise and lower the table by grabbing and adjusting it with both hands, like this. Now you try it. Squeeze both grip buttons simultaneously to raise or lower the table until it is about waist high. Good. You can also move the table around by grabbing it with one hand and sliding it like so. This allows you to quickly access any part of the battlefield with a flick of a wrist. Give it a shot. Squeeze one grip button and pull to move the table to get a closer look at the enemy castle. That's where Princeps Gero is situated. So many names, I know. He's one of Zavolto's vassals, but don't worry. He doesn't know about you. Yet. You... you pick that up very quickly. Take a moment to try moving the table in different directions. Now move backwards to our castle, so we can build our first tower. Now move backwards to our castle, so we can build our first tower. Towers are placed in open round sockets, like the one in front of our castle. Turn your wrist palm up until the pallet appears. With your other hand, grab a tower with your trigger and put it in the round socket. Perfect. Now we have a tower. Towers allow us to train squads, which increase our military strength. To train a squad, touch one of our towers to highlight it, then press A. You've queued up a squad. You can queue up to three squads at a time at each tower. After a short time, the squad will appear on the battlefield next to the tower. Just like that. Need ore. To command our squad, squeeze the trigger and point at it. While still holding the trigger, point where you want it to go and release the trigger. That's it. One of Jero's warrior squads is stationed nearby. To attack, select your squads using the trigger. Point at an enemy squad and release. One down, one to go. Ha! I knew it. That's exactly how Princeps Moravia would have worked. Excellent. Now let's capture that region next to our castle before Jero's forces do. First, move a squad to the highlighted tower socket. It will open up for you when your squad arrives. Now that the socket is open, place a tower onto it, just like before. Remember to turn your wrist so your palm faces upward to access the tower. You've taken control of this region. Captured regions produce ore and jewels for us, which we need to train squads, build towers, and upgrade our castle. Take a look at your wrists. Your gauntlets show your current resource totals, as well as the amount of your next jewel payout. Spend ore to train new squads. Spend jewels to construct towers, add upgrades to our castle, build turrets, 
or to help train elite unit squads. Let's upgrade our castle, which hasn't seen improvement since Princeps Moravia's time. First, move back behind our castle. Next, grab an upgrade from the drawer using the trigger. Place it onto a square socket next to the castle and release. Excellent. Castle upgrades can improve the strengths of our squads, improve our economic efficiency, and a region's defensive capability. Botheration. Jero is connecting to us from his war room. Hmm. Roliano de Leroldo. You aren't going to tell me they have me facing an architect today. Princeps Jero. <clears throat> Lovely weather. In Tenego, it is. Plus, I am surprised you recognize it as such. The desert is greatly underappreciated. Well, let's get on with it. Who is your new scion? I could ask you the same question. I've disabled the communicatus, which ordinarily allows scions to talk to each other. I'd rather that he not know who you are yet. Your identity needs to stay secret until I can finish my project. Let's move in and take our regions back from Jero's forces. We should act swiftly and press the advantage, while he still underestimates our capabilities. Do you see the destructible wall just ahead? It blocks our path to the next region. Destroy the wall by attacking it directly. Power maxed. Power Q full. Power max. Squads in this region and they have captured two towers. You have now can't have reached. Done indeed. This, this region has been cleared of enemies. Let's capture it. Remember to move a squad next to the tower socket to open it up. You, you captured my region. I don't even know who you are. Ha! <laughs> Wouldn't he like to know? With this region captured, we only have one more to take back from Jero, so we can reach his castle. Looks as though Jero is going to attack. We can defend our region by spending jewels to build a turret, if one is available to us. Find the turret node in the region we just captured. Touch the turret node and press A. This costs us jewels, but turrets are automatic and powerful. That's it. Turrets provide additional defense to their surrounding area. Jero's cavalry is closing in. 
Now our turret will prove its effectiveness. Max units on the table. The last enemy region is on top of the hill. Let's build up and take it. Go back. I have high ground. Careful. Jero's got archers at the top of the ramp. Ranged units shoot further from high ground, so you will have a hard time charging them uphill. I'd recommend gathering a force of at least five squads before trying to take them out. Remember to destroy all towers and enemies in a region to capture it. Out of the enemy. Let's capture the region. Ah, excellent. This region is a multi-socket region. This region has two sockets. Once you capture one with a tower, the other will open automatically. Placing a second one will increase your income and make it harder for the enemy to take over. No, no. You have full ownership over all the regions, which I grant is how business is done. But Zavarto will be displeased. I bet he will. All that's left is destroying the enemy castle. Squad limit reached. We have enough jewels for another castle upgrade. Let's build one more upgrade before we proceed further. Move back behind our castle to open the upgrade drawer. Grab any upgrade you like from the drawer and place it on the open socket next to the castle. Since we've placed two upgrades, we've upgraded our castle to level two. Upgrading the castle allows for us to train more total squads and makes the towers and castle tougher to destroy. In later missions, it will also unlock additional upgrades and elite squads. Blue Lady, Jero has really lost his fire. Rumor has it that Zavolto is holding his eye on his hostage. I'm not sure I believe it because, I mean, territories change hands, but families are sacred. Now it's time to remove Jero from his castle and drive him from this place. You've got control of many regions now, so train up a good-sized force of squads and command them to destroy the defense turrets. Then move on to Jero's castle. He'll be training new squads now that his back is against the wall, so watch out. Good luck. Destroy Jero's castle so we can seal this victory, and call it a day.
Max units on the table. We cannot build towers in the enemy's home region. Let's press on and destroy their castle. This leg. Congratulations! We've destroyed Jero's castle. New to the table, and you're already a competent scion with a bright future. What sort of toothless battle were you playing at, Jero? Ah, oh, being kept Savoltor. Uh, I was simply trying to conserve resources. <laughs> you bile swallowing dog fart. You just needed to counter their archers with cavalry, and cavalry with warriors. A child could have held this region. You see why I disabled the communicatus. Otherwise, they could hear us. But thank the Blue Lady, I was right about you. Well done. True. If we didn't have this region and its ferrous magnets, our Titan project would be at a standstill. I just wish they were enough by themselves. Victory.